All right, folks, how's it going? It's your friend, Ruri here. And today I thought, well, first of all, I'm in Palma, Majorca. All right, this is not Edinburgh, as you can tell by my attire. I'm gonna take you for a little walk, I think, along Las Ramblas, towards Paseg des Born. Okay, I hope you appreciate my, my Catalan pronunciation there. But we're gonna walk from this fountain on Las Ramblas at the end, and we're gonna to walk to the fountain at the end of Bourne, okay? And I'm gonna just talk complete rubbish along the way. You're not getting any editing in this, all right? Because I can't be bothered. I'd thought about doing some live streams, you know? But at the same time, I'm a bit worried about what I'm gonna say. I might say something terrible, and then it's just out there forever. So I quite like the idea of doing a live stream, but without the liveness. So I thought this was a kind of halfway house, you know, a compromise. Anyway, I'll stop talking about that. As you can see, we're walking, we're off. This duo of streets are two of the main streets in Palma and two of my favorite lovely flower shops here in Las Ramblas. It's famous for florists along here. And uh, as you'll find all the way along these two streets, they're beautifully tree-lined. Look at me, look at me from this angle, which is most probably my worst angle. That's where you can see all my chins, but you can see the trees as well. More florists, lovely. Come down here, pick up a bunch for a loved one, perhaps. But yeah, I used to live very close to here, actually. Well, relatively close. Up next to Plata Mayor, and Las Ramblas is just a hop, skip and a jump away from Plata Mayor. So I used to come down here all the time. I used to have an electric skateboard, which was fun to ride along here until I broke my foot. I fell off it, which was quite embarrassing and extremely sore. Fracturing your foot as a 40 year old man on an electric skateboard, it's a bit tragic. It's uh, what I now know as my third midlife crisis. So yeah, we're planning on not having a fourth one, by the way, no more electric skateboards for me. But it is a lovely, lovely area around here, as you can see. I'm sure many of you watching this video have been to Palma and know this area very well. It's also the site of a lot of events and things throughout the year. You can come down here at Christmas and there's lots of festive stalls. You can get your churros with, uh, with hot chocolate. I was actually just talking to Kiki, my partner, who's Spanish, about hot chocolate the other night. And when she first moved to the UK, she was absolutely appalled that the hot chocolate that we drink, which is kind of powder and then milk and then heated up in the microwave or whatever, she was appalled that we call that hot chocolate because hot chocolate in Spain is very thick. It's like a thick, dark chocolate soup, very high quality. We do not do high quality hot chocolate in the UK, apparently. I'm gonna move away from this cleaning vehicle and I'm gonna swap arms again because I'm extremely weak. This camera must weigh about four grams and I can only hold it up for about a minute. Pathetic. Need to get back to the gym. There's a couple of nice places along here actually that I should have probably mentioned instead of waffling complete rubbish. There's a nice little plaza along here. It's just past this iglesia, this church uh, that you'll find on the right hand side if you're heading up Las Ramblas. There's a nice little plaza that I can't remember the name of with a very nice cafe at the back. If you're into your posh coffee and nice tostadas and all that kind of stuff, I highly recommend that cafe. What I'll do is I'll stick a link to anywhere that I mention and also do not mention in this video because I've not prepared anything, you know, I'm just ambling along here at my own pace. So yeah, we're coming to the end of Las Ramblas already. I mean, that was only a short five minute walk. This brutalist sculpture here made out of raw concrete, not entirely sure what it is. Uh, but yeah, you know, that's art. It's very subjective, isn't it? That looks to me like um, they've just removed it from a building site and just dumped it. But anyway, I'm a Philistine, what can I say? Switching arms again, my God, I really need to go back to the gym. That's appalling. We've got the back of Plata Mayor up there and this horrible, Centro Comercial, which thankfully is completely closed. I don't know if you've 
been in Plaza Mayor in the past to, uh, sorry about the construction noises, we're in Spain. There's two sounds you hear in Spain, all right? That's German accents and construction noises. That is the modern sound of Spain. As I was saying, I don't know if you've been in to the, to the underground shopping arcade, which is a really glamorous way to put it, up in Plaza Mayor over the years. It's closed now, but it was truly one of the most disgraceful shopping centers I think I've ever seen. It reminded me of a set from a horror film. You could imagine being chased around there by a psychopath with a chainsaw. If you watch my Palma Guide video, part one, I think, I went in there, had a wee poke around, and said some pretty disparaging things about it in that video. This is a nice plaza here, a nice little placita, and good coffee there, Mistral, and even better, one of our favourite bars, if not our favourite bar, I think it is our favourite bar in Palma, La Rosa, which is a, a vermuteria actually, where you can go and sample all manner of delectable vermouths. I have made a video about vermouth on the channel. You can check that out. And we go to La Rosa. Things are starting to get a bit more up market. That's what happens here in uh, this section. We go from Las Ramblas where, you know, there's a few shops, but a lot of terrace cafes. Um, and now we're coming into the posh part of Palma where you're gonna see up market brands like Rolex and Louis Vuitton and that kind of stuff. I thought we'd just bring you over here to Carolina Herrera with this amazing building here, which if you've been to Palma, I'm sure you've seen many times. Pretty cool looking architecture. This is modernist art nouveau. Uh, and that accounts for why it's all kind of a bit weird and a bit dreamlike. Also great bars over there. I, I should have probably taken you that way, but I'm gonna try and stick to the road. We've got Gibson Bar, which is a famous uh, cocktail bar here, which is great. I love to hang out there at the terrace. There's also another bar next door, which is quite nice, but Gibson's my favorite. Nice toilets as well. I like a good toilet in a bar and Gibson does it. Now, this place, I couldn't come down here without stopping in front of Alaska. Not quite open yet. This is a very famous hamburger kiosk here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how high quality the burgers are. I don't think that's the point though, but it's just, fantastic place it's not even particularly cheap either which is kind of surprising you're like the burgers are maybe kind of not the best quality and it's quite expensive but there's just some real charm about alaska hamburgueseria if you are in palma and you're wandering around and you'd like to bump into me there's about a 66 percent chance that i will be standing at the bar of the Alaska hamburger kiosk. Drinking way too much beer and eating too many chips. Bimba y Lola, famous Spanish shop. Ladies can't get enough of Bimba y Lola. A nice place to go and pick up somebody a gift. Maybe your uh, wife or girlfriend likes handbags. Bimba y Lola handbags. It's a pretty good purchase, to be honest. Now we are approaching the famous I don't know, the end of Passeig des Born, or as I call it, the CNA corner, CNA over there. A shop in the UK from the 1980s, but still in pride of place here in Palma. I mean, I've not been into a CNA in the UK since I was about nine. Oh Christ, got a bit close to that security guard there, I hope. She didn't think I was gonna try and smack her over the head with the camera. That would have been horrible right in the middle of the video, eh? For me to be battened to death on the ground here at CNA Corner. Anyway, as I was saying, I've not been into CNA for years, decades. And they just got this massive one here. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite a throwback for a British person to see a CNA. Great place here, an iconic place, Bar Bosch where I highly recommend you come. It's very hard sometimes to get a seat because it's so busy. They do have a massive terrace though. And at Bar Bosch, I would highly recommend that you get a coffee and a yonget. Now a yonget is a traditional Mallorquin sandwich, a bocadillo, but with this very particular kind of bread, which is lovely toasted. I like to have a tuna yonget, a bit of a sort of tomato passata on it, a bit of fresh tomato olive oil, tuna, on a toasted yonguette, cup of coffee, maybe a glass of wine, don't tell anyone, and you're gonna have a whale of a time. It's just great people watching as well. It's lovely just to hang out there 
I could sit there for hours just staring at people like a creep. It's great fun. People watching, is there anything more fun? This lovely little obelisk here, and I don't know if we can get close enough with this wide angle camera. I doubt it, in fact. But right at the top of this obelisk, we've got the emblem. Did I say that word right? That's not easy to say. Emblem of Majorca, which is a bat. There's a bat atop that obelisk, and you'll see bats all around the city, actually, on different bits and bobs, little monuments and things. There'll be bats, okay? I've never actually seen a real live bat here. I've heard them, actually. I ha oh, I have. No, I have seen a bat in a video I made down at the cathedral. Can't remember which, but there was bats flying around. I think it was during lockdown, actually. Anyway, I digress. Uh, here we are at Bourne. Lots of posh shops here. Lots. We've got this place called Corner, which is actually on two corners, uh, selling all manner of extremely expensive and ridiculous shoes. Shoes that you're like, is that wearable? Would, would one put shoes on like that and be able to walk around without being ridiculed openly by the general public? I mean, they've got some really appalling, appalling stuff in there. And, you know, two grand, you know, a thousand euros per stupid shoe. Uh, so Corner, if you're the kind of person that likes to buy stupid stuff because you've got too much money and no taste, that's the place for you. We've got these really cool, uh, what would you call them? It's kind of like bookends to the street, really with these freaky, uh, well, I don't know what that is. What, what do you call it when there's an animal mixed with a human? Whatever, Google it. Uh, so it's like, a, I think, a lion mixed with a lady, an effeminate man with a kind of Egyptian headpiece on. We've got these lovely uh, flower pots here, as you can see, beautiful, and these amazing trees, which I think are maybe birches. Is this a birch tree enthusiast? Please put me right in the comments. These really cool trees, with these amazing kind of flaking trunks. They remind me of a, a paint by numbers painting. You know what I mean? I feel these trees should have little numbers all over them. I am talking some absolute bollocks today, I'm sorry. Anyway, here we are. Inborn. Born actually means, it's a word that you'll see in Spain all the time, and born is actually a word that designates a place for games. So this would actually, back in the olden days, in the medieval days, they'd have been jousting here. Jousting. Instead, now it's just people having cafe con leches. You know? Much more civilized and less deadly. Unless, of course, somebody poisons your cafe con leche. Um, Bulgari, Breitling, Zara. You know, the three brands go together, don't they? Bulgari, Breitling, Zara. Nothing but the best on Passeg des Born. Multi-Opticus for all your sunglasses and reading glasses needs. Kaisha Bank, my bank. Good bank, like them. They've got yellow bank cards, which I like. I often like to pretend I'm a referee at a football match with my, uh, my Kaisha Bank card and just hold it up. Uh, and send people to the side from wherever. Right, enough. This is Palma's arguably most famous street. It's not arguably, there's no argument about it. It is. And the buildings here are absolutely beautiful. My mum actually rented an apartment here once when she came to visit, and I believe it was in this building here on the top. Amazing apartments inside, huge, spacious, airy. Unfortunately, I am not making enough money on the YouTube channel yet to be able to afford to pick up a property down here. But please subscribe to the channel to uh, follow my progress as I become extremely rich and wealthy from the internet. We're at the other end. I promised you another fountain. And there it is. Any other things that I should probably mention about Bourne? Well, let's give you a nice view over the top of my head. It's a Kraken Street, and actually at Christmas, this is lit up really nicely. You get a lot of lovely lighting displays going on here across the trees, and they've got various bits and bobs. 
It's very, very festive, very lovely. I highly recommend you come down at Christmas. Uh, the beach is a bit crap then, all right? It's freezing. There won't be much beaching for you, but it's a lovely place to spend Christmas is Palma, lots going on. And what I'll do now is just try and get us across to this fountain without being run over, which I think will be a challenge. Just passing here the bus stop and actually just beyond the trees there, you can see the edge of the cathedral. I promise you it's there. It's up there somewhere. We've got some lovely gardens. And my favorite thing about coming to this fountain area is that you start to smell the shit from the, from the horses. You can start to smell the manure from the, the horses and carts that ferry tourists around. Can we get across to this? Maybe not, maybe it's not a great idea. There's the fountain anyway. It's lovely, isn't it? Charming, not always turned on, but turned on now. And this is a very famous scene here in Palma, isn't it? You know this, you know this scene. And from here, that's the sea, you can head that way to Palma Marina and salivate looking at other people's yachts. Uh, disgraceful amounts of money stored in Palma Marina. And uh, yeah, I mean, I promised you Las Ramblas and Paseg des Born, a little walking POV tour, and we've done it. <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot of pollen in the air and bits of fluff that are going in my mouth all the time. I've also got an incredibly dry mouth because I didn't bring any water and I've been doing nothing but talk for 20 minutes. So, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you have enjoyed it, you can hit like. And please subscribe, I make a lot of videos from Yorka and Edinburgh and I think in the future I'll be going to other places and making other videos. So, basically if you like me and what I do, you probably like the channel. If you don't like me, definitely do not subscribe. Anyway, a bus just ruined the view there. I'll just wrap it up now. Thanks for watching guys and see you on the next video.